Hello, hello everyone. This is Sybil. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the very last day of the CC Designs collaboration. We have been doing this each Saturday this month. This has been hosted by Grace, who's Gracie21. And also participating has been Tina, the Crafty Bean, Jeannie, Crafty Yellow After, and myself. And everyone's channels will be listed down below in the description box. Now, I know that I'm doing a giveaway today, and I know somebody else is doing a giveaway, so you'll have to go visit all the channels and see um, our projects, what we're sharing. We would love for you to give us a big thumbs up on each of our videos. So um, before you leave, make sure that you gave us a thumbs up and that you left a comment and that you are subscribed to our channels. Now, I did a giveaway last week and I will be announcing that during this video, so stay tuned for that. This is a beautiful die set and there are six pieces there and you can see all the individual pieces. Really beautiful die set and I love the stitching detail on all of those um, dies. And then also, for those that are subscribed to my channel and that you've left a comment on this video, I will be doing another giveaway today and I will announce the winner for today's giveaway next Thursday on the 30th. So be sure, come back to my channel next Thursday to see who wins the $25 gift certificate to CC Designs. Now, please make sure that the channels that you are subscribed to are not set to private. When I use YouTube, YouTube Random Comment Picker, it's an app that I use. It goes through all the comments and it chooses all the unique comments, meaning if somebody leaves two or three comments, it will only pick one of their comments. And then I um, press start and it chooses all the names and then it tells me the person's YouTube channel. I go to their channel and if you're subscribed to me, then you win. And if you have your channels that you're subscribed to set to private, I gotta go to, I've gotta go to somebody else. So anyway, that's that. And, um, I'm going to share with you the, the products that I used for my first card. So I used a couple of my oldies but goodies CC Design stamps. I have had several of these um, stamps from this company, CC Designs, through the years. And I've sold them or given them away as gifts. But there are a couple that I just could not get rid of. And these are them. Burr Emma, she is too cute with her big earmuffs on there and she's sitting. And then the snowy wall. I love it. I love that lamp post there. And then the brick wall. And it's got snow all over it. And speaking of the snow on the brick wall, I use the Viva Pearl Pen. And as you can see, it's a pearlescent white. So it gives a real nice shimmer. And I use that on the snow. Oops, sorry, I hit my tripod. And then I use stickles, I think, on all of my cards that I'm going to share with you. So that's diamond stickles. All the images I have colored with my Copic markers. And uh, I think I only fussy cut the images on this first card that I'm going to share with you. For the first card, I used papers from Doodlebug Designs, Sugar Plums. I used this pretty one with this, it's blue with white snowflakes on it. And then I also used an oldie but goodie, Be Merry from My Mind's Eye. And it was the back side of a paper and it had pink and red stripes on it. Okay, so here is my very first card. Isn't she pretty? I just love it. So there's that pink and red striped paper. And I used my stickles and just did every so few stripes and added some pretty diamond stickles on there to give it some shimmer. And then on some of the snowflakes, not all, just random, I added a little teeny tiny drop of the stickles. So when you move it, it gives that diamond effect on the snowflakes. 
and uh, let's see like I said I fussy cut and I'm not sure if my camera will pick up there I think we do see the shimmer on the snow isn't that pretty that's from that Viva pearlescent pen and then I popped her up there and I added a couple of snowflakes from my stash that I've had forever and then I put this cute little tag that says Noel and it's in plaid. I tied a bow and then I put a metal snowflake on top as the bow's center. And then the card is blank inside, but I even made the, the brick wall kind of have like a frosty effect to it. Isn't she cute? There in her little muffin, muffins, her ear muffs. <laughs> Am I hungry? Is that why I'm saying muffins? I don't know, but that's cute. Maybe I'll call them ear muffins from now on. Okay, so my next card, I do not have the, um, the stamp any longer, but I colored it in a coloring challenge on Instagram, and then I just set it to the side knowing that I would use it someday, and this is that day. But I did use a couple of memory box dies. I used these stitched butterflies and then this beautiful branch. And I'm not sure the name of that branch, but it's got flowers and leaves. It's just real pretty. So both of those are from memory box. And here is my card. It's Butterfly Lucy. She was one of my favorite stamps. And I saw this on the sale the other day. I think she was regularly $8 and she's now like $4.80, something like that, if she's still available. But I used the Spellbinder die to cut it out. And then I added the butterflies here. And then again, um, I don't think I even shared that I used my Wink of Stella or my Nouveau, I'm not sure which one, my shimmer pen. And so all the butterflies have pretty shimmer and then here you can see that branch with the flowers and the leaves on it. And those have the Wink of Stella on them as well. So I put one pearl in this little butterfly, two in the medium, and three in the center of the large. I added some enamel dots up here and there. And then I also took a um, little strip of blue paper and ran it through my paper crimper. And then I used my oval punch from Stampin' Up. And I believe this Life is Sweeter when shared with friends. I think that's from a Hero Arts set. And I stamped that on there and then popped that up as well. And then I left it blank inside. And I, I don't even know if you can see the paper, but it was just um, some scrap paper that I had. So did some layering and then, then this one is blank inside as well and that way I can, when I know who I'm going to send it to, I can address it to the recipient specifically. And then my last little project is a tiny tag, a small tag that I made and I used Pumpkin Beatrice and I would mentioned in a previous video that I normally um, fussy cut this image and then I would cut the ponytails, the piggy pigtails off. Is it pig or pony? I don't know. I had boys. And that's one of the reasons I cut it off. So it made it like a little, you know, pumpkin Baxter. But anyway, really, really cute stamp. Another one that I've had for a long time and just don't care to get rid of. I love it. And then these are CC Design um, dies that I did purchase recently from LDRS when they were having a sale. And I was going to make some um little things for my planner, what I'm trying to say, like for paper clips, but these are so tiny, I would have had to use tiny um, paper clips and that's not what I had wanted to use. I wanted to use the larger paper clips. So I made a tag instead and in here, it's kind of hard to see, but there's the word autumn and the word thanks and I used those on my, car, on my tag. And then I cut the image out. I think this is a Gina Marie um, die set, oval set. So I used that to cut the image out. And then even though this Mary Mary paper pad from Pebbles is Christmas paper, 
they had a couple of sheets did i pass it already i think i did of what paper that looked like it was for autumn see it's leaves can you see that really pretty so i used that um, at the paper on my tag and there is my little tag there you can see cute pumpkin beatrice and I used some um, Distress Oxide ink and inked up the edges there. I think it might have been Orange Marmalade. And then I um, used the Diamond Stickles and put that around the edge of the oval. Popped that up. Added some pumpkin colored ribbon up here and made a little lace bow. And then I put a ceramic, or I'm sorry, an acrylic flower in the same color real pretty and then i do have a couple of leaves back there behind the bows but you can't behind the tails but you can't really see it and then there is the word autumn thanks and i cut that out three times glued each layer together and then i used my markers and i did an ombre look and i'm going to hold that up so you can see so from the top it's like a real light orange then it goes to a darker, a deeper, and then I even put a little bit of red on the very bottom. So those are my projects this week. And I'll bring them all back out here so you can see them again. And then I'm gonna do the drawing for the winner of the die set. There we go. So let me get my phone. And again, it's for this beautiful creative, creative Basics die set. And I used um, YouTube Random Comment Picker. And up there, which you can probably hardly see, is the URL. So you enter that, and then you press um, Enter. And then it tells you how many original comments there are. And there were 65. And then you press start over here and it gives you the winner. And my winner is, my phone keeps wanting to move over there, Lady J Crafty 2016. And she writes, love, love, love your cards, especially the cute little shaker card light bulb car. And especially the cute little shaker card light bulb card car and this sparkle on your last card super pretty thanks for sharing god bless well congratulations hon you won so if you could leave a comment down below on this um, video and give me your email and then i will contact you and then i can get your address and get this in the mail to you if you would prefer to give me your email if you're on instagram I'm on Instagram. The link to my Instagram is on my um, channel here. You can click on the little icon and it'll take you to my Instagram. And you can send me a message there. Whichever is easiest for you is fine. And then don't forget everyone, please um, make sure that you leave, an, uh, leave a comment if you would like to be entered for the $25 gift certificate to CC Designs. I will be announcing the winner next Thursday. And also please make sure that your subscription, the channels that you're subscribed to are not set to private so that I can see um, that you are subscribed to me. And I hope you enjoyed this collaboration. Thank you, Grace, for hosting it. And I will talk to you later. God bless. Have a great day.